Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Cho'Gath consistently here in Season 14. He's in an overall bad spot. You do not want to first pick him. There's plenty of champions who have max health damage. Plus with Leandri's max health damage being times 2 this season, from 1% to 2% per second, it is not the time to blind pick him. However, if you know what you're up against and you feel comfortable in that matchup, it's totally fine. I know against Fiora will be completely okay. We'll outscale her, we'll hit team fights. And uh, she has grass. You won't even be able to necessarily match us in split push if we're near turret. For our runes, we have grass, demolish, bone plating, and flinching with free boots approach, attack speed, AP, and armor. Secondary runes, you can also look to go for ultimate hunter instead. Heart still is only 3,000 gold this season, so we can start stacking that up a bit sooner. Could have started with a ruby crystal. Opted for D shell just because it is so consistent, plus Dorn items got buffed like five patches back. After our heart still, since they are physical damage heavy, we'll be looking to go for a Sunfire into a big fat juicy. I would go Canic if they had a lot of AP, but they don't. So instead, third item will probably be Thornmel or even this item, Despair. It's really, really good for being in combat. There's not much we can do level one. We can match max range farm kind of with Q if we want to. Going for the Q auto. The first three minions are easy to get. They all die at the same pace. You can step forward, bait the enemy champ to come up, drop the Q, and we're good to go. She's sitting on her grass right now, so she wants me to step up. We can use the edge of our Q to farm with. Just like so. So if we don't want to push the wave, we don't have to. But we can still get last hits at the same time. We're not going to step forward for this melee. Other than to do this. Hit it with the edge. She still has her grass ready. Back up. Got that one. My grasp is up now. We'll take an auto trade with her. My grasp is up again. We get her and the range mini with that. Very good. As long as we're last hitting, we shouldn't really run out of health and mana. Auto E reset. There it is. Our grasp is ready. She can't do a whole lot from this position. Not a good trade for her there at all. Auto E reset. Couldn't quite get it. My grasp is up again. We'll trade with my empowered E. She takes a turret shot. Yeah, that attack speed slow is absolutely crippling. Auto E reset. Very nice. And look at that healing. We're chugging along. Can't quite find anything there. Might as well push. With how the wave is right now, our wave's gonna push out anyway, so. Now is as good a time as ever to just get this pushing. She probably she'll probably just T Ooh, she should have TP'd back. That's a mistake on her part. We can hit her with our E from range, just like so. Didn't quite get her on that one. Poker with the W. W Cho'Gath W is pretty hard to dodge because of how quickly it comes out. Compared to dodging a Cho'Gath Q, which is very easy. We get the knockup. Get her with a grasp auto. I don't need to tank that anymore. I auto her after he starts the hit. That way he's the one tanking turret. Down she goes. Auto into W. Oof. Don't have the mana. I'm getting creep blocked pretty hard here. We'll go ahead and leave it. We've already crashed the wave. It's before the five minute mark on the clock to where top turret and mid turret take. It's less than half damage. It's very hard to get a play. That being said, she lost a lot of turret there. Go ahead and pick up this, pick up this. They might have actually changed that because that turret took a lot of damage. That's how it was for all of season 13, 12, and 11, I'm pretty sure. But the turret seemed like it took a lot there. Maybe it's not taking reduced. It's hard to say. I'll have to verify that. They might have changed that for this season. We're only going to trade with our empowered autos here. We'll silence her into a Q. That way she can't use her parry. 
very good trade for us overall. She doesn't have her parry here. Auto R, down she goes. The main difference is I have a gold advantage from killing her. And uh, she's not a lethal tempo grasp character. Or I should say she's not a lethal tempo conquer character. So her all-in full HP fights to the death aren't that good since she has grasp. Lethal tempo conquer champions are dangerous for Cho'Gath to fight. Things like an Irelia or a Jax who go for a Bork Rush. They're doing max health damage and they're smacking you with so many autos after auto. Cho'Gath damage tends to be... Slow paced and bursty at the same time because with his E. Nice, we get the plates. We could probably have just reset. It's a little on the late side now. She's going to push away fairly slow. She's not even six yet. We go ahead and pick up this. We have free boots, so we won't be getting that anytime soon. R is coming up. We still have Ghost. Flash is certainly good on Cho'Gath. Ghost is way more consistent for the mid game and late game. Once I would say Flash is better for the first five levels. Ghost is better six and up as a whole. Ghost is a shorter cooldown and the duration is incredible. 15 seconds. Only way we die is if we get ganked by enemy jungler. We'll go ahead and R the minion every time it's up. If we can't really find a kill on her. See, we might be able to do something over here. Oh, no, enemy mid laners here. We can trade with her, though, try to keep her off my teammate. My Q doesn't hit a whole lot there. I gotta run. I'm gonna ghost out of that. We got the Fiora R. That was a really bad Q on my part. I didn't think that was her last one she needed. Oh, well. Auto eat. Got her with the silence cue. We need to last hit some of these minions to get our health back. Got him with the Q. Auto eat. And we got her as well. Not bad. Got her with the slow. The turret was already heated up from Kane tanking. We I was trying to kill some freaking minions to get health back from passive. I just couldn't kill them fast enough. We at least have hearts, still have free boots here in a minute. The biscuits are also a decent option for Cho'Gath. Yeah, this turret seems to be breaking really, really fast. Seems like they might have up damaged that turret's take. So I've lost like three plates there. No one's even a full item. It's wild. Go ahead and max Q second, just because the cooldown's so much lower than W. Auto E reset. Very nice. This is the same thing. Since we're ahead, Cho'Gath 6 and up. The only way we die is if we get ganked. Warding this pixel brush is pretty important for that. Covers all the angles. Oh, she's not even going to play top anymore. I think she knows. Oh, it's a lane swap. That's funny. Echo has a little bit of max health damage in his kit. We have to be low on health, though, for him to access it. Get that little bit of healing. E max first. He's below half health. We got a heart still stack. It's a net permanent 23 extra HP. We could have gone for Overgrowth. Unflinching is pretty good though for the Tenacity, especially if you're not going to run Precision Tree Secondary for Tenacity. Echo ends up resetting. Not a huge surprise. More below half health, it makes us very vulnerable to him. At least when you're technically below a third? It's a third or a half on Echo, I forget. All right. Yeah, he hurts for sure. We 
We'll just walk away. He's got some wild damage. Kane's bot side, Fjord's mid. I feel pretty safe. I mean, if Jinx shoots Rocket, that sucks. I don't think she knows exactly where I'm at. We definitely don't want to go for Merc Treads just with what their comp is. I feel like I have to, though. It's so strange. They have Jinx slow, Jinx snare, Soraka slow, potential Soraka snare, Fjord slow, Kane slow. That's kind of it, though. Echo is a full item. He has Lich Bane. He's shredding the heck out of uh, my teammate here. That was a really bad dash on his part. I'm on Ghost, so he can do this all day long. Suicided, don't know why. Because he didn't want me to press R. Joke's on him, I don't have R. Got it. Another point in the queue, we just push wave. You don't typically leave lane on Cho'Gath until you get enemy turret. Or until you lose yours. I still have mine, so there's no reason to really leave the lane. Although saving your ultimate against enemy champion does give you kill pressure, unless you absolutely need that to stay alive, you really should just use it on the minions every time it's up to get a consistent HP scaling going. You can only do that six times though, so just press shift on your R with your cursor over it and you'll see how many more times you can do it. We got him with two slows, three slows, silence. It's another slow in the queue. Lock him down, skadoosh, skadoosh. This is where Cho'Gath shines, fighting people who don't really have max health damage. He's dead. And rip. Playing against things like Vayne, Bran, it's tough. Vayne max health true damage on her W, Bran goes for Leandris plus has max health burn on passive. This is a really good game to run Choder. Besides Red Kane, Red Kane has loads of max health damage, so that'll be something we... It's gonna be kind of hard to deal with. Oh, that's bad. Took like three turret shots for that too. That really sucks. Well played to her. Got me stunned underneath turret. The weird thing about it is she blocked my Q, but it still counted it as me hitting her. Or maybe she was in range for bombies. I don't think so though when I was taking the turret aggro. I'd have to go back and watch that. Got Sunfire. We really need tier two boots. Swifties is a great choice since they are slow heavy and Merc Treads wouldn't do that much. Echo is one of their only sources of magic damage. To where I think Swifties or Lucids are heavily justified. Unending Despair is very strong. Every 7 seconds while in combat, you drain a bunch of health from enemy champions. We have a button. Every second in combat, we deal damage to nearby enemy champions, healing, yeah, for 250% of the damage dealt. And it scales off of our bonus HP, which of course we get a lot of because we're Cho'Gath. Beautiful. Drag is up, so we realistically should have gone for that. Didn't want her taking my turret. Dragon's probably gone, so we'll take Harold instead. None of our teammates are over there. Oh, they are taking it pretty slow. Harold seems pretty safe, guaranteed. Yeah, I don't think we would have gotten there. In time. I don't have R for this, which kind of sucks, but it's whatever. We can still use our R one more time on minions. She's really trying to take this. Okay, cool. Very cool. Hey, Jinx. Almost got her with that one. I get her with the next key. We'll walk past. By fast boots. Oh, I needed to walk a little bit more. I got the heart still. Press R. Down she goes. I really is dead though. I'd say kind of worth. I get the R stack. We're also going to get turret. Looks like I'm going to lose top turret for it. Mid turret's pretty important though. Auto E reset. Need people to cover, man. 
pop him with an auto immediately. Got the heart still off of him. That's big. That's all I wanted. I know I can't really kill people without my R. So if I'm fighting without R, it's just to farm heart still stacks. Grass stacks aren't really worth dying for. Heart still stacks, if you can get more than two, it kind of is worth dying for if you're needing to kind of reset anyways. She's going to shred me out hard here. Down she goes. Even through the Soraka, I was able to do that. That's crazy. There's the knockup. I love being fast with fast boots. Down she goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're scaling up big time. Sunfire. It's not telling us how much damage that's done against enemy champions. I think that's the last time I can use R against minions there if it even gave it to me. I'll go ahead and reset. We have fast recall through the Herald. Even though I laid it, that's weird. So I guess only my first recall was fast. Strange. Unending despair, health armor, ability haste, steals their health, gives it to me, times 2.5. I like it. From here, we definitely could go for Hollow Radiance if it would let us, but since we have Sunfire, it doesn't want us to get the magic resist version of Sunfire. So instead, we'd probably go Kanic or Warmog. So the more HP we get, the more damage Sunfire does, because it scales off HP. The more health and damage Unending Despair does, because it scales off HP. And the more damage and scaling uh, Heart still gives us. I actually landed that. Hmm, it's bad. Jinx got the knockup on me. This is slow on Rockabaka Chaka. Double knockup silence. Many, many, many heart stills. Nice. Auto R auto. Yeah, we're Godzilla mode right now. They have the wrong stuff to kill us. They have a really bad comp to fight Choder. This is why you don't first pick Cho'Gath. I didn't first pick him this game. Because if you do, they end up picking a bunch of stuff that counters him. They get the Brands. They get the Heimerdingers. They get Malzahar. They get Vayne. They have Red Cane instead of Blue Cane. You shouldn't have gone Blue Cane. That's a huge mistake. Red Cane has loads of max health damage on R and Q. Auto E. That sucks. The Jinx Rocket hit 487. It took me longer to finish the turret with my Demolish. Because currently Demolish is doing 1900 damage, which is more than half of the turret's health. It took a while to go off there. Echo's doing loads. His W, which technically does zero damage, the circle part, it only gives him extra damage on his autos against low health enemies. That did 1100 damage. More damage than anything else, guys, is off of his bonus damage on his autos from W passive. Yeah, we certainly, 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 certainly need Kanic or Force of Nature. While well, eight stacks getting 70 magic resist, I'll go for this. If they have a bursty or detached source of magic damage, then I think Canix OP, like for Teemo Mushrooms, or Zerath, or Ziggs. Super long range detached magic damage hits from the enemies, right? But Force of Nature as a whole does really give more magic resist and have a lot of health to play off of. Plus it gives movement speed, which obviously we want. We'll ghost her down here. I got fast boots. We'll slow her, auto, silence. She can't dodge it now, she's silenced. Press R, down she goes. We'll use Ghost to finish running these guys down. Since I'm fast, I can just keep running with them until I catch up enough to throw out a max range Q. If I have to. Got it. That's pretty solid. We could go for Warmogs. It, would, it wouldn't be bad with how this game's playing out. We go Godzilla mode, get a kill or two, lose half my health. Warmogs will get me back to full really quickly. Warmogs got more expensive, but now it gives movement speed instead of ability haste. Movement speed is a higher valued stat by a lot. To where Warmogs is viewed as a more premium item. Cho'Gath's one of the few champions that can take Warmogs without it being a bad choice. A lot of the times, if anyone besides Cho'Gath and Soraka go Warmogs, it's basically considered trolling. Because the item doesn't give any ar armor, magic resist, any damage. But with us, our uh, our art is more damage with health. Heart still 
all of our items plus R do more damage with the HP, so it's not, it kind of does give some damage. Oof. I think I'm dead here. Got the knockup, auto R. Whew. And we killed her right before they quit. All right, we'll take it. Really solid health armor Cho'Gath setup. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. You see Echoes was incredibly high as well because the damage he was doing against us was heavily percent based through his W passive. And then Fiora was second most. A lot of her damage was percent based damage coming from her passive and R. You see the power of percent based damage and why you can't first pick Cho'Gath because if they did have something like a Brand or a Lilia, someone who runs Leandre's as a primary item, or a vein, you there's really not much you could do on Cho'Gath. At that point, you're a support. You're no longer a frontline carry. You you have to sit back and peel backline for your AD carry, which is fine. But at that point, it's coin flipping on whose AD carry is better. If you guys enjoyed this Cho'Gath video, don't forget to like. Cut. Ooh, damage taken. Not bad. Self mitigated. Okay, all right. So we did the most damage, took the most. Self mitigated the most, and for runes, high value. All in all, Cho'Gath pretty decent. Just don't first pick him. And that's all there is to say. I'll catch you guys next time.